Let's do some planking today with six hours new P322. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly with Armed and Feminine and I'm fortunate enough to be able to work with a group from Sig Sauer on another project and I just happened to mention when this new P322 came out that I thought it would be a great transition gun, especially for new shooters, to move up to a 9mm because it was shaped similar to the 365. and the group said, it is, it's great, do you want to try one? Uh, who says no? Nobody says no. So we're going to do some plinking. We're going to discover all of this literally right out of the box. I'm not usually a right out of the box girl, but today we are. Let's try it out. All right, so before we shoot this, and keep in mind, this is not the Mosquito. Upgraded. <laughs> Those of you who had one know what I mean. Uh, right out of the box, this feels great. And what I appreciate about this is that it is big enough along the grip, the whole frame, that it'll fit pretty much every size hand. This pinky actually has a home and some additional space to it. You know, I love to always start new shooters with a 22 because we just get the fundamentals out of the way without a bigger felt recoil. This is the way to go. The other thing that I appreciate about this is that it is left-handed friendly. We have controls for an ambidextrous safety and an ambidextrous slide stop on both sides. So the lefty folks, you are going to love this. We can just drop here. It doesn't on the mag catch, but you can easily switch that out. So we can, and I'm not left-handed and I sort of suck at this left-handed, but ta-da. So lefties, you've got your own uh, safety and slide stop right here. So that being said, with the controls on both sides, it's not going to retrofit into any holster that you might have, so you're going to probably need an extra one. These will stick out. Another thing that I noticed right out of the box is these beautiful fiber optic sights. You can see that this has a nice long front. If you're an iron sight person, these come off real easily, and, and this rear sight pops right off, and it's optic ready. So if you're a red dot person, easy to do. Something else I find really fascinating that SIG did with this gun is you can choose the shape of your trigger shoe. So underneath here is just the regular trigger, but if you're in a flat trigger mood or you like flat triggers, you can leave this one on or you can pop it off and trade it out for a curved trigger. And it also comes with an adapter. I'll show you these. Few tools. This little adapter, which you can place on the end of the barrel, so you can go ahead and shoot suppressed. So the biggest deal of all about this particular 22 is capacity. This one has 20, so you can have a capacity of 20 plus one, and they are easy loading, of course. And if you have sensitive thumbs or maybe not so much hand strength, they actually do give you a little easy loader that slips right on top and helps you to load those. Now, speaking of ammunition, a lot of 22s can be very picky about their ammunition. So I bought a variety of ammunition to the range with me today of varying velocities. Norma, Aguila, um, Federal, Winchester, and some Remington. So we'll put down the velocities of each of those down in uh, the description so you can look at those a little bit later. On first note, I find a flared magwell really nice to be able to easily seat the magazine in. Uh, all right, so single action only, so safeties are on. That's something that hangs some folks up. Safety off, there we go. Oh my gosh, those sights are beautiful. Up next, federal lead tips. Winchester, hollow points by the way. Aha, so I have a round ready and seated, but it did not feed.
mounted. Hmm. Alrighty, different magazine, same Winchester hollow points, round two. Aha! So, different mag, failure to feed. So, this didn't even come up high enough to be able to be fed. So, uh, there, now that's higher. So, let's see, that might have been a spring issue. All right, so we might be able to decide. It doesn't like this particular ammunition. Everything else flew through this beautifully. So let's clear this one. Be the next. Now we're clear. So we had several malfunctions and only half a magazine. Uh, the only difference there is that was a hollow point. So and I think it was 1,280 feet per second velocity. Since that was at the higher end of velocity, I'm gonna go even higher because some 22s that shall be not named um, won't cycle higher velocity ammunition. So I'm gonna try 1,400 uh, feet per second right now of Remington and we'll see if we have trouble with that. And I will also note that this is also a hollow point. Let's see how it does. had not a single malfunction that time. Hmm. Well, I'm not a ballistics expert, but I'm going to ask somebody about that because we only had one problem with one particular ammunition. Remember, not all guns like everything, like to eat everything you feed them. So if you're having a problem, switch out the ammunition. Let's head back to the bench. So as not to take up too much of your viewing time, we did put through several more uh, magazines full of that Winchester hollow points without malfunction. But because it was the only one that malfunctioned in both magazines, just think it's worthy to mention that. So, so. after all of that, taking a peek, beautiful ergonomic design. It feels great in your hand. The sights are big, bright, and beautiful ambidextrous controls. And if you're on the fence about what kind of 22 you wanna get, this is gonna fit pretty much everyone. And even the smaller hands can still fit all the controls. And you have options, options on your trigger, options for a suppressor, loving it. And then you know what? Once somebody starts on this, we can move them up to nine millimeter to the 365. It's a great transition tool. Always start people off with a 22, not to scare them and you know, make their way up a little more recoil bigger bigger girl bullet and a nine millimeter it's a great transition gun so if you're in the market this is going to retail for somewhere around 399 so definitely ballpark if not even better than some others that are out there and thanks to the people at sig again for giving us the opportunity to try out the new p322 check them out sigsour.com i'm kelly from armed and feminine remember it's your life 